you, you know, my, my, see, my wife used to tease me. I said, if you eat English food, it's like snacks. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so I will still be expecting that I will have my pounded yam, ah, my gari. Ah, uh -huh. So <laughs> that one is coming. It just banga, like banga, banga. <laughs> but you, you have like olubu soup, a goosey mm, soup, you know, mm, mm, mm. correct food. Mm. So if you, if you bring a, if you bring chips. DJ Paco Ray. Okay, people, welcome to your favorite channel here right on YouTube. My name is DJ Paco Ray, also known as Mazi. Some they call me Otumba, some they call me Siriki Siriki. And we are global. You know, I keep on telling people, I sit here in Accra in Ghana, but I can connect to any part of the world and have conversations that will bring positive energy to you sitting in your home. And so you should keep supporting us and your support has brought us this far. And so today I'm flying all the way to the Queensland. It is a country that both Ghana and Nigerian have in common. Britain, UK, these are our colonial masters and we have our brothers, both Ghanaians, both Nigerians in UK. These days I would like to reach out to our brothers there both Nigeria and Ghana, and ask them how the living is in the UK. Is it easy? Are they being accepted and loved like we love them at home? Yes, we mostly Ghanaians and Nigerians, when it comes to hospitality, a one. We see white people and we are happy. We, I mean, we will give a white man our chair and we will stand. But are we getting the same kind of treatment there? Are we getting the same kind of vibe? We are going around the world this time. So right now we are flying all the way to UK to speak to Brother Joseph to uh, give us more light about an African life in UK. How they miss their banga soup, their goosey soup, and eba. how they get some to eat. And even when they get it, is it as authentic as what we eat down here? They miss home. Joe, 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 Joe. <laughs> <laughs> My brother, how are you doing? Hello. Yeah. I'm fine, my brother. How is, how are you? How is GH today? Ah, we are managing. And so before we start a conversation, <laughs> first of all, I would like you to introduce yourself in two ways. First of all, you introduce yourself, your the African way, where you come from in Africa, your hometown. Yeah. And then uh, you let us know that you're truly an African because these days we have like, <laughs> Americans who are even black than you. <laughs> <And> so, <laughs> which, which side of Nigeria do you hail from? Yeah, um, I, I came from the eastern part of Nigeria, obviously. Is um, I'm an Igbo man. Igbo man, you were cradle. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes, uh, and there is one amazing thing I love about my Igbo brothers. They are hard working. Work not yes. the tired Igbo <laughs> man. Uh -uh. At, at all, at all, at all. Business, <laughs> business. Yes, sir. Anything yes. you give them, they go sell up. Anything you give them, they go sell up. We will turn, turn it to money. We will turn it to that. money. And I love them for that. And yeah. so you are an Igbo yeah. man. Which particular village? We won't know your village now. Your 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 village keep <laughs> watching you by this time. <laughs> yes, I'm um, I'm from a uh, I'm from all the local government in Imo State. Imo State from a building. Yes. Yeah, uh, my my village, my village is called Obibi Ochasiato in all the local government in the state. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, so, so yeah. So for how long have you been living in the UK? Um, I've been in the UK now for nearly 15 years now. Mm, mm. Yeah, so I come to the UK as a student and um, one thing or the other, we... 
<laughs> we permanent, you know. <laughs> and and, 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 yeah. and, 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 and there's something I love about Nigerians, and I'm going to prove it to you. You know, you have people going to UK for like three days, and they start speaking like, and then, and then, and then, and then, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? This man has been in UK for 50 years, but you can loudly hear that he's a Nigerian. He's speaking with his Nigerian accent. How, how, how have you kept your Nigerian asset in 50 years you're living on somebody's land? What is the reason? Um, that is a very nice question. Mm. You know, I, um, if I'm very proud mm. having my accent, mm. you know why? Because anywhere you see me speak, if you are very familiar with Nigeria, you will know that this is an Igbo man. Yeah, man. Yes. So I'm very proud of that because my accent defines who I am. Yeah. If I lose my accent, that is my identity is gone. Mm -hmm. Because <laughs> when you see a Scottish man, mm. Scotland, they speak English, but you hardly hear them. Mm. A wish, like somebody from Wales, mm. they speak English, but they have their accent. Even within England, London accent is different. Mm. Birmingham accent is different. Mm. Leicester accent is different. Mm. Manchester accent is different. Then if you go to Liverpool, that is, <laughs> you won't even hear them. So it just like if you come now and say, oh, because I'm in England, I should begin to, I should throw away my own accent and try to speak like another person. That is like being inferior to myself. So I've maintained that. It's just my accent is my identity. So I wouldn't even want to try to come out of it. Mm -hmm. And I'm really proud of yeah. that. I'm, I'm, I'm really proud of that. And that shows that you're a true African man. And I mean, I keep yeah. telling people that as an African, you are represented by what, how you speak, what you wear, yes, and then yes. what you eat. So if you stop eating your local food because you've traveled to uh, Europe or UK or US, then I think you are playing. If you've stopped wearing your native dress at all, I'm not saying you should wear it all the time, but if you don't feel proud to wear your native or your African print, I think you are losing your roots. And these are the things, yes. key things as an African you should do. What are some of these things that you still hold on to apart from your accent? Let's talk about the food and the clothes. Do you still wear African clothes i mean Igbo people have some iconic materials and you know dress yeah, and all that yeah. that they do wear do you, yes. still, do you still keep them on honestly 100 percent. i forgot to bring my cap you know the yeah the the cap that for yeah i have yeah. i have about three here mm, mm, mm. you know <coughs> food obviously <coughs> sorry we have our food here and we, we have African shops where we go buy our yeah. food. <clears throat> yeah. Me, I've been in this country for much longer, yeah. but I don't eat English food. Mm. You know the sweet tea. Yeah, because it doesn't, <clears throat> it doesn't have taste. It, for me, it's not my food. I can't eat it. Some people find it I, I, I beg, tasty. You, you know the food belly quick like African food. <laughs> no. No, he, he, you know, my, my, see, my wife used to tease me. I said, if you eat English food, it's like snacks. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so I will still be expecting that I will have my pounded yam, ah? my gari. Ah? Uh -huh. <laughs> so that one is coming. It just banga, like... Banga, <laughs> banga. <laughs> you, you have like olubu soup, a goosey soup, mm, you know, mm, mm, mm. correct food. So if you, if you bring uh, if you bring chips, sausage, mashed potato, you know, um, there's one they call hash brown, and um, what you call it, uh, bacon. 
and bake beans. These are all <laughs> you are you for want Nigeria. To... <laughs> This is not. This is food. If I look at it, I say, are you trying to cause riot in my stomach? So. <laughs> oh my God! I beg. Yeah, so, if you're um, watching, we... if you're watching this video and you want you you want to win the hearts of any African man, I mean, the make you don't go slice bread and tea and coffee and all. Please give us our daily. No, 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 no. Even the Bible says, "Give us our daily bread." We we don't want bread. We yeah. Want bread. Daily gari, daily panda, daily, daily fufu. fufu. <laughs> <laughs> My brother, yeah. let's go into. Yeah, so. DJ Paco Rich. <laughs>